the fuse kit. And it's actually once again G2. They love this bio getting fighters to arm on the T side. You thought they'd want something to work with, but it's the aggressive place coming from the CTs. Equal exchange so far. One for one. And now it's up to RBK to try and get the second. He's actually going to be taken down as Devil doing some big work here. And Happy coming in the back as well. That's actually really nice from Envious as they get all five kills on the end. Lovely stuff there. So a nice, different approach out of Envious. He's been stacking towards the house and working very effectively as a tight unit. And G2, I'm not working out for them in that sense. Tried to exchange the frags equally. Didn't really work out for them. So there it is. Envious bouncing back after a horrible experience on Dust2. It's a good start on Inferno. Well, not a bad one for Envious to start out CT side with the economy, with the money building. It is going to be two rifles in the form of FAMAS. an MP7 in the hands of either Apex and Kenny S. Devil's the only one to go immediately onto that M4. Well, the thing is, G2 have got this force by going, but they don't have any smokes or flashbangs. They have, well, they have one flashbang, that's it. They need these Desert Eagles to deliver as they do edge their way up towards the top of Banana here. There's going to be three players there, two holding towards the middle and one in boiler room as well. So, Shocks is going to be that boiler room player. He has got the Desert Eagle. So, not going to be facing just yet. They're going to be trying to show some presence towards B. Smith's just firing off some shots at the PT50. But so far, edging their way back towards middle. So, Shocks will come out boiler room, presumably, and the rest of his teammates will face after that flashbang. Kenny's waiting with the smoke as well in case they do push aggressively, but Apex. Pop flash, go for the double face. No one up far enough ahead, but they are going to go in the timing. They're going to spot Apex out of this, though. He needs to be so careful in this coming position, but somehow they overlook. They go toward Kenny, and they still get the kills, though. Scream, Smiths, and Body follows up. Another situation where an eco is very possible, but Devil has control of the pit. He's dropped the bomb, and it brings it to a one on one. And this favors MBK because the bomb's so close toward him, but Shox is able to grab it fast enough, and MBK not chasing is going to allow this plant to go down. Uh, regardless, this is a very successful round from G2, but here comes the 1v1. MBK has got the kit and the weapon advantage as well in the form of the Famous. Shocks position himself towards the pit, and MBK is convinced he might be in the graveyard area. He does get face now. The game is up. Unable to land any damage, and here comes the exchange. It's going to be MBK coming out on top. Holds his nerve and goes to upgrade his pistol, is that? What's he looking for? I guess an M4, so got plenty of time to work with. That's absolutely fine. It does go down to 8 HP, it looked like. G2 had that round tied up, but his body had a very difficult game and Dust2 finds three very important frags and keeps MBS alive here <clears throat> as they go up 2-0. So G2 getting the bomb down means the next round they'll be absolutely fine. They've all taken eco at this point, but uh, a lot of damage inflicted in terms of the economy for MBS, so they need to be careful in this reinvestment. Kenny S just going to be getting the CZ and seeing what he can do with that weapon. But uh, a little bit too close for comfort, I would say. There's Devil from that pit area who managed to win the round. Going to number three now. They have got Desert Eagles and PT50s once again. Won't be for too many trying to make their way towards the top of B. Push them back and have a similar sort of play towards the middle. He's going to play above this smoke from the car as well. See if anyone dare try and push up toward the tree. Kenny. Passive. Top of middle. This is the same over toward library. No one facing this, and Apex waiting with the silenced M4 is going to spot them up. No utility spent. So it's going to be a clean shooting gallery, but there's too many to shoot at as Scream finds the kill back in turn, and Kenny has to come back around with the CZ75, trying to save up for that AWP. That puts so much pressure onto Devil. Thankfully, Kenny is able to find at least one kill to make it a little bit easier for the Devil inside the pit, but he's got two, make it a third, and now he switches over to the pistol. It's a fourth for him. If Body was the one to step up, and I actually take that back, it was only three. It looked like he got the third one out toward Kenny's position, but it is going to be three regardless. Yeah. And if Body stepped up last game, it's him in this one. And CT so sides seem to be their specialties. Yeah, I would say that's true. But Envious managed to get the 3-0 after two pretty uncomfortable rounds, losing the initial pick first time. And uh, same again in that round once again. So we'll see GT now force up. They will get AK-47s, they have got smokes and a Molotov, make it two. And no all purchase for MBS just yet. The rounds have been pretty close. As we enter number four now, we can see a default play coming in from G2, trying to work towards that banana zone. And the only smoke out there now, so just running off shots, seeing if there is anyone boosting behind that smoke. It's not as of yet. Nade comes down, that's quite a lot of damage on towards Smiths. He goes down to 66 HP. But the CTs are going to be falling back for now. You can see this setup from Devil, he's boosted up above the quad. Going to be looking towards boiler room. It's a lovely angle. It's one that's very difficult to preempt. Apex is going to wait on the inside of that smoke. Dodges one further flash. 
And then Apex crossfire set. RPK still finds Kenny. There's no response. Apex has to push back through the smoke. He manages to. And only two. Shox is there to walk back out the boiler door. And now it's a long rotation. Not only that, NBK. He's still at B right now. Bomb's not committed to the A site yet, though. Interesting that they want to fall back, set up the smokes toward the arch side, and then try and execute. And Happy's going to rotate around to pit. This is actually perfect for him because he can hold this off. Yeah, he's got two players pretty low as well. Smiths especially. He's the one carrying the bomb. But we're making their way towards arch. Going to CT spawn in this scenario would be perfect. They probably know the CTs are split up, one towards A, one towards B. And you can see there, it's going to be MBK aware that might be a possibility. They're actually deciding to split the site together. So now it comes down to Happy. He's going to be in a three-on-one. Like I said, Smiths is the low HP player, but he's made his way onto the side now with that bomb as well. Happy still undetected towards the pit. Shocked to be checking for him though. That's the first pick. Does do substantial damage there, and Body does finish it off. And now it's down to MBK. Two versus one. Has got the kit and two very low HP players to find, but they've got so much time to obtain just a really strong crossfire in this position. It'd be an absolute blunder for them to actually throw it away. Looking like he's favoring towards quad here. Still has time to play with, but needs to be finding these kills very quickly indeed. Okay, quick peek. Spot out the player, bait out body inside of the pit position. Solo, both players, you've mentioned it, but they need to find the kill. He does find the first on the Smith, knows the second's in the pit, but body holds. And it's the AK that finds the headshot. Yeah, really nice play there from body around. They desperately needed that, and that's actually broken MBS economy as well. It's been some very close back and forth rounds. MBS have come out on top of all three of them, but G2 now have sent them onto an eco. You can see them adjusting accordingly. Smith brings out the MAC-10. Shock's working out his buy as well. He's going to be similar sort of vibes. He's going to have the same weapon and just be hunting for these eco players. Devil has got some body armor and they have an interest invested in some P250s, 5.7 and one Desert Eagle on towards MBK. So this should be an almost guaranteed round going in favor of GT. You can see now MBS have sent four players towards middle. Crossfires all over the place. Devil boosted up and towards quad. Apex beneath him and Kenny S trying to bait them in. So G2, you'd assume just the way to play these anti-eco rounds map, just make sure you go together, clear out each zone as much as you can, see what you can get away with with those MAC-10s, see how close you can get in a contact player of a simple smoke. It's pretty much all you need. You don't need to make it too aggressive or creative. And here we go, sticking together. mac is going first, but it's MPK though. He gets the first headshot, takes down shots, looking to get more, but then is shut down. And that four-player stack towards middle now, looking a lot less promising as G2D swarm the side. Oh, good play from Scream. Now holding off this rotation coming up from Banana. This is like so much easier. Headshots all the way through. Let's take down Kenny with the last one. Happy. I'm gonna try and rotate over. He's gonna come in from construction and it's RPK. Finds the kill. So pretty straightforward. Four players stay alive. Smith's on the MAC 10. But G2 avoid that potential reset. And they've narrowed down the economy significantly for Envious, who are gonna buy out everything they can. Yeah, no kids so far. They can devil could still buy one. But so they'll be investing. There it is, he gets it. So we go two Famuses, one kit, how many smokes they got. They have got all the smokes required. Obviously Inferno, one of the most important maps for that kind of utility. But Smith's keeping his Mac 10. And again, look at this map. He's got not a single piece of head armor here. So that's actually a really clever play from him. We need the economy pretty well. But that's a massive spread up from MBK. Does a ton of damage and actually body taking out Smiths as well in his own yeah, fire. That's, that's a problem because it does start to negate the damage that he did initially do to hold off this banana position. But Shock's getting happy. Fight back in the right direction. Kenny gonna sit, hold, try and cover off this gap in the smoke. And RPK had no idea that existed because Kenny had a free shot at when he arrived. Yeah, I don't think they realized that gap in the smoke was gonna be that. That's like pretty that's huge. simple. Kind of trying to throw that smoke effectively. That's good push from Devil though. Good read on his shocks as he gets aggressive inside apartments, finds some more information, and it leaves just Scream remaining. Devil's got him as well. And Envious, that's, I mean, that's a big one for them as well because we just talked about the fact that they bought in everything that they could. The money's still not great. Happy's going to be very limited. I think they, yeah, they just dropped him one out, so he'll be fine with that AK that was picked up. But what's the call going to be on the terrorist side? Because two players in a very dire situation, and they are going to go with three rifles, two Tech 9s. Four plays two now, so it will be force buying, like you said, see what they can do with this situation. No, no orbs purchased yet for Envious, so this could be holding up with the rifles. Again, G2 gaining control of Banana. Going to be smoked out for now, but it's a decent head cheek lands on the feet of Happy. Only does 20 damage, but they are pushing him back all the same. They have got smoke to play with as well. I'd assume there's be more of a set piece here. Trying to smoke off towards the arch. And then flash round as well, push the CDs back all they can, but Apex looking to fight, and he uses the incendiary just to hold them off a little bit longer. 
Renee, though, already pinched up against the wall. Apex, the one in his sights, but it's Apex that wins the duel. And immediately, Bomb's already turned back. It's going toward Banana. They have got the second player in B rotated toward the CT spawn, but it's Happy that's going to try and be quick about acting. Fortunately, the smoke this time has no gap. And Smith's, he's going to find NBK. Good Molotov on new boxes to force him out into the open. A flash from Happy and Apex still smokes in front, but Happy does get one. Apex needs to follow this up. Three versus three. Hits on everyone on the CT side. No smoke toward the spools. And Apex's timing actually could catch them off because no one's peeking that direction. And Apex is going to walk in. It's an easy shot towards Scream and Emo. The most powerful position in the post play. A trade against Smith. But Kenny is the last alive. And it's he versus Shocks. And it is the kit, but Shocks is going to do it. The Tech Nines again in the Forest Buy situation. And it's G2 with their third round. Yeah, Kenny unable to land that headshot towards the pool area. Shocks capitalizing with that Tech Nine. It was a difficult buy for GT going for that. Once the plant's down, we saw them get the crossfire set up. Apex did some substantial work there, but it's not quite enough. And Shocks stepping up massively. Four plays three now, and now MBS have been broken as well. <coughs> they will be on towards pistols. And not really much else invested. Apex has got a HG grenade, but that's about it. Now we can start to stabilize the money for G2. They can get a nice clean round here. That will definitely help boost the money going forward. It could be, this is a classic anti-eco play. All war players walk up towards the top middle. They've actually caught Envy. He's trying to build a boost as well. So that's a bit of a horrible situation for them. Going to find a double frag here. Surely it's, it's a bit devil. scrappy. But yeah. <laughs> there it is. They finally get that kill. So I actually really like that as an anti-eco. Just walk up. No messing around. Stick together. Refrag if you do run into anything. And that's going to pay off tremendously here. They're going to find all four kills here. They have taken substantial damage, but <clears throat> just MBK remains now with the Desert Eagle. And not really many options left for him, I'm afraid, as he will be cowering towards the back of the B side. Bomb does get planted on towards A. And that's a simple round for G2, and they tie things up at 4 4. So after Envious going up 3 0, the gun rounds have run away from them slightly, and one of those was a force buy from G2. It's great. Holding, waiting to see if they can find the last man, but they don't want to overcommit to this push because if MBK does any economic damage at all, it would be significant. But four rounds already T side for G2. Not getting the pistol. Starting to look good. There's the exact indication of where the money lies. They can't really afford to push. Shocks could have, but that would have been the only one, and it's not worth it. He might as well build up his bank and push comes to shove, be able to drop out, support his teammates. No AWP is going to be on the map again in this round. This has been a problem for Envious' CT side so far. Kenny has on the CT side of Inferno. can be very strong indeed. That's when he really starts moving around the map. He can go towards Banana, Apartments, towards Middle. He can even be have that aggressive face from Boiler Room towards the second Middle. And we haven't seen any of that yet. This money hasn't stabilized to a point where they can even justify a single orb. Devil this time on the Mag 7. That can be an effective weapon towards the Apartments area. It looks like he is changing his setup here. What have they got in store? Looks a little bit apprehensive, but he will be eventually making his way towards the pit. And yeah, of course, getting up into the apartments. He's going to be late, though. He can't really justify pushing all the way down now. He's way too late for that party, so you just have to sit at the end. And once again, more of a default coming in from G2. Another big round for money of both teams. You can see we have got body on towards the Galil. They have got full mid control as well. This is going to be such a hard round for Envious to hold off. Apex needs to step up here. Flashbang goes over. I don't think he'll get everyone here. Gets his back turned. Going to be facing. It's a good spray, but Shocks capitalizes and takes down. Oh, Reprack. devil. Full vision as well when he walked around that corner. The bag seven was just so easily placed. So it seems like G2, every time they can find a round, they did avoid the reset the first time by, which did leave them in an ample position to take down that, or, or, excuse me, the round, their third round. But it seems like every time they start to get momentum, it's countered immediately by Envious. Agreed. And MBK is going to wait, smoke out, can't find body on the other side of the spray. The guys give away his position with those tracers, but he adjusts and it's a bad shot. And what nearly was his last bullet, and Happy's going to close out the round. Nice round there from Envious, up against the ropes in terms of the money, but there's a nice little backstab there from the quad side of body. He comes in and gets the max 7 kill. That was required to kind of secure the round. It was a big play from Apex to go for that face, but he did substantial damage there and took a lot of attention away from the other side of middle. And now we're going to round number 10. Five AKs and no orbs still purchased. And yes, we'll be coming back towards middle with the M4A1. And you see those decent grenades for G2 here. So still has a lot of money to play for. And we'll see what they can do here. Once again, working towards the MBK BK falls back for some initial aggression. Happy's got boiler control and Apex and Devil both up inside this as well. So similar to Virtus Pro. They want to try and negate any apartment aggression, but they brought that fourth player over from B. 
Without any information gathered from the players in the apartment, this could be a one-man hold. MBK versus the world inside the B site. And through the smoke they go. He's got the shot on the Smiths, but now the flash comes out. Has to fall back, does drop a second, and MBK managing to stay alive. Not taking much damage in all of this either. They do get the site, they'll get a bomb down, but they're two men. The deficit here, and it's going to have to be calculated on how they play this post-plant position. Envious fully rotating with one player on Banana only, the rest all in construction. But it's RPK with the first, Kenny with the refrag flash out, Scream has to shuffle in and find a better angle. And there's a real chance that Envious can make this happen, but Scream's got a second. Shocks wins the duel on Banana, and Scream is holding perfectly. It's down to a one-on-one, -on -one and Scream's got that as well, double drops. See what I mean about that confidence we were speaking about in the pregame? Most players are just hiding construction there and just trying to play the bomb timer. You know what? Scream is going for that straight up face. Rips his head off as well. What a play that was. Three kills for him once again. Some of the best form we've seen him in in a long time, I have to say. It's been sensational in this series alone. Great yesterday as well. So, lovely shots up and Scream. Just vintage stuff from him. That's a massive round for MVS to lose as well. See, that's reset the money and it was a five on three as well. Crazy. Five plays five now, and Smith's back on towards our Mac 10. That's the kind of round that gets envious as bickering and trying to work out what the hell happened. Yeah, that's, that's massive. After MBK did all that work as well by himself, like I said, didn't even take any damage in the initial exchange. Got two kills, fell back to construction, and got himself decent position. It's just that aggression of Scream, and no one expects him to face in that kind of situation. Like, you're, you're a spool, you've got the bomb down, the CTS has to come find you. You know what? I'm just going to face you and just take your head off. MBK this time with just the Deagle. Five five back and forth affair, but the economy not stabilizing in the favor of Envious, nor is this round. MBK manages one with that Deagle. It's RPK that he finds, but eventually he's silenced by shocks and Smiths. Immediately after we'll plant the bomb. Happy. Far away. Far, far away. Indeed. And that's gonna be six plays five now in favor of G2. They've managed to keep four players alive as well. RPK the only player going down. So happy be taking the long route towards T-spawn and seeing if he can get an exit kill here, potentially pick up a weapon, but I'm not sure that's going to work out for him. He has got to a decent position, but you can see the Disper G2, they know how important every weapon is on the T side of Inferno. And he's going to be smoked out as well, so they're well aware of his position. He's not going to get the exit kill. <laughs> Definitely not. All four there. He may still face this afterwards, but it's body that holds it. So no AK, nothing to grab. Once again, it's going to be a difficult buy. We have got the orb for Kenny S though. I don't think we've seen a, a single orb this entire yeah, it's been a map so far. Definitely been a hard time. Kenny, we saw him actually saving with the CZ-75 to try and bring one out early, but losing that round, they've never really built up the economy so that they can grab him one. Well, here he comes. He has got no armor. He has got a smoke and a flashbang. Let's see what he brings this time. It's going to be two players towards the end of apartments here, so a change of setup here for MBS. So I assume they leave Kenny S towards the top of the middle. Uh, an angle he's known to hold. Shots now working towards the apartments. I'd assume they'll be monotoping this. Let's see what he can do. Oh, that's a great shot with the Mag 7, though. A lot of aggression coming in and gets the man advantage. Finally, something MBS to work with. Kenny S now should be challenged towards the top of the middle. There it is. RPK takes him down. Have to get to the turn frag, though, so that orb is made redundant pretty much straight away. Devil. Actually going huge this round, he gets his second, and MBK finds it as well. So this can be Smith remaining now. Very decent play there from MBS. We said the AWP might be the deciding factor to get them back into this, but it was actually the Mag 7 and Devil stepping up with the AK as well. So there it is, just Smith remains. Devil is waiting. Has that bomb at his feet, needs to try and find Smiths, and does so with the shoulder peak. They have that set for a repeak at top mid regardless, but 6-6 six, six now, MBS right back into this, and Devil been having a hell of a game he's up to 14 so answering for the blunder that was dust two on his behalf on the other side of that if we want to continue the storyline on body sits at six scream once again doing all of the work yeah he's had a really strong series here but here we go we go to round number 13 awp is back out for kenny s they managed to pick that up that is g2 bringing four ak's and the tech nine actually five players committed towards the b side here this should be an execution coming in you can see so he's smoking out with the fire in place. That's going to be body looking for this first kill. Actually, he's not going to be executing whatsoever. He's just going to be going in, taking advantage. No smoke being there. Running through towards CD spawn. I think they actually run past each other. As Happy does find himself towards the pool. I'm not sure he's aware there is a terrorist towards CD spawn. This could be 
dangerous, but Apex is away. He will come in, let's get the call, good communications, and they find the first two frags. Yes, now has control on that beast site. Anyone inside Banana slowed significantly. No push down mid to try and trap them in. There is still three players on the A site. Happy. Why? Why would he do this? This is one of those plays you never want to see. And inside the smoke, and Smith's just waiting there. You've got a two-man advantage, and suddenly it's down to just one. This forces Kenny back over toward the A site, or rather, excuse me, on the B site, which means the A site gets weakened significantly. This is just a kill you don't want to give away. It didn't really make any sense whatsoever. Like, once you get up onto the, the, the barrels there, the hay bales or whatever, it's like you can have a one-way smoke, but the fact he had to jump up there and he had a great in himself, he actually just completely threw that away. That was quite an interesting decision from him. Like you said, they still have got the man advantage here, but that's definitely increased G2's chances here. We hit the 30-second mark and they've got mid-control as well. Kenny S with the AWP yet to really do anything with it. Two players coming in from quad, the lovely shot from Devil just get taken down by Scream. Apex, though, that still has pit. Spawns one. It's screaming to see, but it shocks that he shoots first because he wants to figure out exactly what the situation will be. The approach is. And Scream's still inside the site. Remember, he's been on fire this game, but unfortunately for him, Apex slightly better in that situation. And they'll take back the lead, but only just as we hit round 14. And money's not great, though, on G2's side. It's Tech Nines they'll buy into. Money not looking great for both teams, to be fair. One round would kill off Envious's economy, but the good news is. They're only going up against Tech Nines and P250s here. It is a full force buy from G2. And we'll see what they can do with this. Smoke does come in towards the nine up. And you mentioned it before, Matt. Can it, MBS do like to hold off the terrorists as long as they can using those smokes at the start of the round? Number 14, though. Two to go. See if Kenny S can actually have any impact this round. It's looking like a mid play coming. This is more of a set piece. So we smoke it off towards Arch, smoke towards the library. Flashbang round, trying to stick as a tight unit. And it comes to play right now. Apex force back early, has to go to library, just barely gets inside the door. And that flashbang, Epic he's undetected. He may still have a chance in this as Kenny on top of the statue. He's going to find two. A snap over toward library, and Devil's got two of his own for the balcony. It's a perfect setup to spray them down. The wrap onto the A site, and he'll get nowhere near planting the bomb. Lovely stuff there. Kenny has with two really great kills. Boosting himself up and towards the pit area, on towards the pillar. Like you said, snappy here, Shelton, and that's a devil leading the charge here. 18 kills for him. Yeah, sick half. Yeah, we're very, very impressive. But he plays six, G2 going to the final round with... To put it in perspective, body and managed, when we talked about his dust two performance, he ended with 17 and a half. So devil's actually done better in terms of killing on Inferno. Body just had slightly more impact in terms of... A number of odd situations he had to face. One, one and X situations where he was isolated by himself, I guess. But here we go. The G2, like I said, do just have Tech Nines, PT50s, and one Galil. They have got smokes here, but their execution on the B side hasn't been fantastic. And it's going to be Smiths going in alone here. And BK does spot him as well. He's not going to be flashed at all, but does decide to fall back and wait for his teammates. Kenny. Get inside of the site, but MBK has no access. There's a gap toward Emo, but no one's crossed it. The bomb just goes down now, and MBK tries to spray through and find the opening. He can't. It's Devil instead that opens it up. As shocks will fall, Kenny and MBK will slowly start to work, but RPK finds Happy. A leg shot. Kenny S can't find the player trying to elevate himself at Emo to see above the smoke. And look at Scream. RPK, they're going to go to work, and it's Scream again. Down to the one on one. Oh, through the spools with the AWP. Scream. Absolutely sick as he gets his 15th of the half, but importantly, the seventh round for G2. What was that final kill? He saw him lining it up and he thought, no way he's going to pull the trigger. Of course he does. Hits him straight through. And that very weak buy from G2 in the end prevails somehow as they pick up the orb. Screen finishing on 15 kills. And that B execution, I said it's been stopped before. That was much better. They get into the bomb site, get the bomb down uncontested as well. MBK made the right decision. He was by himself, waiting for his teammates to come back in. But I didn't think that would be the shot to finish things off. We're going into the pistol round now. It's going to be G2 on the CT side. Five sets of armor, of course. And we have got MBS with one utility player in the form of Apex. He'll have the smoke and two flashbangs. We'll see what they can do with this. I'd say Banana probably makes the most sense of this buy. We'll see what they decide to do. Who's already going to go toward window? In boiler spots up. Happy goes to. The kitchen ledge, it's a position used specifically to counter out Scream's location, and it works. Happy does get the kill. Body now with two players to support him in Banana. He's going to try and get information from this approach instead. And they are grouped on top of the, t the T stairs right now, so if he could get enough information 
pick a kill here, isolate them. I pay dividends because the other player right now from G2 is starting to lurk into the apartments. And Happy, of course, none other is the one to do it. If he can find out the information that there's only one left on the A side, it'll be an easy decision on where the bomb goes. But MBK jumps across, spotted by Shocks, goes for the face. Keep in mind, Bonnie's to his right at the tree, so he's trying to lure them in, bait them. But they find that first kill, MBK follows it up. Bonnie has no chance. Lovely stuff from MBK, baiting the shots out. First three kills going in favor of MBS though, but G2 trying to fight back. RPK finds a headshot onto Happy. It's up to Smiths now. They're not checking his position for some reason. Gets the bomb down. Can he do more of this? Gonna be taken down by MBK in the end, but an interesting situation there nonetheless. Pretty shocking that they didn't look it, but obviously anticipated the fact that they've gotten so many kills on that site that there wouldn't be anyone else in there. Nearly costs them, the bomb goes down. RPK gets in for free. Gets at least to water, but he's been heard the whole time by Devil, who continues his great form. Yeah, much better map from him this time. And MBS do pick up the pistol there. There's a run of two. That's looking at the force by once again coming in from G2. We saw this in Dust 2. The scout shots were phenomenal. And they do the same thing here on the second round. As it's going to be Smiths this time stepping up and LPK with the MP9. The rest of the team have just got those upgraded pistols and head armor as well. One smoke on towards Shocks, but it has to come down to the shot from Smiths. Can he find anything with this? I've already passed by. They've already gotten one into Banana and Kenny. Not in vision. He changes his approach towards Alt Middle and he may actually spot someone late down mid, but it's Bonnie instead that's going to come under threat, sees the nade going above. And he and Scream playing for a bait and switch. Body forward of the sandbag, Scream behind them. Maybe Bonnie that faces very early in that situation. Kenny wins the exchange and Scream's already bailed out of it. Through the smoke, they're going to go. No flash, but a kill. And a second smoke now out onto CT. A Scream, rather, excuse me, Smith tries to spray through, but can't find it with the scout. Bomb goes down. No kits either for G2. This is going to be a desperate situation. RPK yeah. again with that MP9, but not even in a viable situation, viable position to utilize it. Yeah, once that smoke came down, like you said, they had no kits. The options are extremely limited there. It's either run through to a certain death, or you just take it on the chin and you fall back and you save the scout and the MP9. And uh, obviously, there would have been Eco next run anyway, so it's not the biggest deal. They can actually just justify this. And Shocks does get taken down, but they keep. The upgraded weapons here. It's going to be RPK with the MP9. Smiths with the scout. Unable to have any real impact here. It's Kenny S. They've got two frags on the entry with that MAC-10. Bomb is planted. Round over. Smoke's deployed effectively. It's getting double figures here. 10 by 7. We'll see whether the scout can be effective this time. Smiths hasn't really set the world on fire in terms of kills this map either, but the scout, you never know. Any one of those weapons, the scout MP9 combo. Can be effective. Just need a few tags. Can they find them though, Smiths? And good T half from G2, but Envious now the ones in the lead. It's a best of three, map three. Whenever this, we'll move into the winner's column as Apex starts to wrap around, already pushing back the player inside of the arch. It's Smiths that has to go passive, and he's not even going to get it time to pull out the scout, but they've rotated screen, they've rotated body to try and compensate for the fact that a rot. Rotation through CT spawn as possible. Not really worked out though. Good damage dealt. Finally, RPK will get a kill, but they're still approaching onto that B position. So they're just sitting right now because they need to find the next kill, and MBK is going to grab that. That should take them back over toward A. 11 play 7. Very simple round there for MBS is working together, wrapping around through CT spawn, finding the kills. This is where it gets interesting though. The gun round comes in. Envious, I can't remember the last time they won a big fixture. They're looming on it though. Getting the advantage here. G2, no orb. Body on the Famous. But this is the bonus round map. The Jaden round is coming in. Happy and Apex on SMGs. One of those in Max 10. Gonna be screen that looks down B first. Shots is gonna go passive again. Body playing similar to how Crims does up on top of the cart. No smoke to play and nobody does. Spot one, Apex through the smoke just on the edge of it as they start to push forward on the back of that Molotov and as he passively goes back to the site, he'll get a second, make it a third, a fourth. Body stepping up massively because he's lost Scream beside him. It's only he that left in the site. It won't be the ace this time around. But Happy's gonna get the bomb plant one versus three and surely the back 10 is heavily outweighed in this situation. Surely, you'd think so. 
but he has got a flash but this could be timed perfectly you know gonna be going in facing smith now they know what weapon he's got but he gets that first kill could get a second as well somehow he does the back 10 somehow stepping up and now it's just rpk to hold him off another decent flashbang comes Whoa. in it perfectly gets him and now they know exactly where he is and this is so good he's still dancing around the generator rpk though does prevail wow he's got time no kit now, G2 finally get around, but as you said, that's the bonus round, the situation where they can save those two SMGs. They'll be able to buy up again no matter what on the T side, especially with the bomb plant. And not only that, G2, they're going to have to buy four players back into this. Can you imagine if you pulled that off with the MAC-10? That was nutty. James Bardoff would have been smiling. Yeah, wherever he is. God rest his soul. <laughs> Other side of the wall, of course. <laughs> 11 plays 8 now, but that was very interesting. Like he said... The economical damage has been done, and now Envious come in with full buys, AKs across the board, and you can see Smith just on the pistol, shocks on the Famous. They have got a few nades, but not a full buy, that's for sure. So Happy did what he could with the bonus rounds. That came very close indeed. Going to round number 20 now. This still could go either way with G2 on the CT side, though. Devil on NBK. Waiting for the smoke to dissolve. Okay, that's over toward the pit, but two players already rotating either direction. So they're playing sort of a swing setup right now on this CT side. Body still inside of the site, but Scream just coming back over from CT. They did have this man here, Smiths, who's saving for the CZ. We've seen this before. Oh, Kenny, look at this push, though. Is he going to count for this? Smiths is waiting in this corner. Body's got the first kill off site, but Smiths is just waiting. Happy, not even going to look, and it's easy as Scream. Moe's down three, and Smiths does get happy in the end. And once again, happy away from his teammates, and it's G2 to pick up the round. And they still got plenty of cash, but very, very clean and effective round from G2, especially considering the buy they had all player on CZ, one of the famous. They're now going with the full buy. Envious, similar story for them. I think Kenny has actually just got the P250, so not as strong as I would have thought, but there we go, then round number 21. We'll see what Envious can bring to the table. It's actually a little bit of aggression. Nades going down towards the bottom of middle from G2. Flashes to slow any push down as well, but once again, Envious getting control of Verona, pushing the CTs back. So we'll see how they execute this one. A very standard round so far. CTs just dropping smoke towards the top of middle, slow the terrorists down. Similar story towards the B side of the map as well. They still have two smoke remaining, make it three. So this round will be drawn out a little bit further. And Apex is going to be the one that waits toward the boiler. Now that they have control. MBK, though, he's the one to open it. He's got two kills, both on the B site this time. That screen so goes down. Now, the interesting thing is that there's still a third member here because this is unorthodox to bring Smiths over this early. And they've cleared the two that traditionally play the site. It's not like they have an indication that there was a name that doesn't belong. And Smiths is being clear, clever about this. This is so perfect. mbk has got no idea. He's still there. And the call has already been made. The bomb's already rotating. The smoke will go out. Kenny's inside of it. Flash as well. He's dogged it, but his teammate's not. It doesn't matter. Kenny's got the headshot on Smiths. And now the bomb needs to get toward the site, but there's nothing to cover off the cross. Devil can't throw it either, but he does get the kill to Shocks. Oh, I still got very scared. Then when Smiths negated MBK so well, then using his sound and headset amazingly. Found that first kill after MBK got a two entry. That's what got really messy there. But Envious then to pick up the massive round. It's all coming out to MBK. that's rushing up towards B, finding the kills by himself. We saw him when they're prime. That's all he used. That was his bread and butter. He was so good at finding those kills. But uh, rolling back the years then, showing he can still do it. 12 plays 9 now. And it looks like, I was about to say, G2 will be taking an eco here. But they're going in. Do have grenades. It's going to be body onto an MP9. And shocks on a Famous. And uh, still have a reasonable amount of grenades, no kits, of course. But uh, two players towards, actually make it three towards B, so those incendiaries might give up the game and could see MBS go for a fast A here. A lot of utility being expended. Yeah, this is the thing, flash from body. Now he's already down, they do give him some position, but... He's been caught out at tree before in the pistol round. So Envious not easily fooled by that, and MBK seems to have a read that they have pushed down as he sprays through with the AK. Meanwhile, his teammates looking at the top of alt mid and toward the apartment position. I mean, the good news is about getting body that low in banana. We always talk about this. Is it allows for an early rotation back over to the A site. But he's only got an MP9, though, so if he was to find a kill, it should be all right. back straight away. But somehow, Scream, pretty smoke, all right. Yeah, no problem. 
does go down to 20, which is interesting because he's firing the silenced M4 through that smoke, but it's happy that gets out of apartment. And RPK is not looking. He turns back and shocks. Both players in pit go down. Smiths has to hold this from the off angle. Gets two. Kenny S extremely low. Flash comes through and it actually blinds up the envious players, so it doesn't really work out, but Apex still finds the frag. He did dink. Look at he and Kenny. Yeah, he got dinked in the process, so this is still very viable. The only problem is body with the MP9. That's almost eradicated now. There's such low HP. He can just run in and gun and uh, hit the kneecaps and find some kills there. He's going to the AK as well. He's just picked it up on rotation. As he comes around from the truck side, Apex is going to have to be so smart in this situation, not peek out from the pit and try and set a crossfire. But bodies found him. Immediate headshot. And now they'll go together. Face Kenny all at once. But Kenny finds the first shot on screen. Bonnie's not confident enough to push through. And Kenny's going to hold it with the headshot. Oh, my God. That was unbelievable. He's got like 10 HP on the bomb side and probably the worst position you can possibly be in. Hits those crazy shots as well. That could just be enough to secure the game for Envious. Look at the money in G2. They needed that round. It was a two on one situation. And Kenny S just delivering. We normally see it with the AWP. This time it's of a rifle. And it's a fantastic round for them to win. Unbelievable scenes. Man, I don't care if that guy's an op or a rifle. When he's inside the A site like that, he yeah. always finds a way. I thought that first go, okay, that's pretty cool. He won't be able to win the round, but at least he gave it a good go. But the fact he hit that second one as well, that's nuts. Bonnie just followed the same position. Had the option to swing out wide, and, man, I mean, Kenny, that's a pressure shot. And pulls it off, like you say. How crucial is that for this situation? That it is now 13-9 for Envious, and it's an eco for G2. Full eco at that. They normally bring in the Deagles and the PT-50s. This time, just ESPs, no nades. And a lot of damage being done to Shocks here, trying to do what he can. He knows he's going to die any second here, but somehow gets away with his life. Goes down to 6 HP there, and going to be bunny hopping away back to safety. So they know it's a pretty much full eco here. They have spotted that, so now they can slow right down, gain some real estate on the map, execute together, utilize the body system, and they should be absolutely fine here going forward. There is a nice little stack here from G2. You don't really see this. Normally that position will be monotopped, so there's kind of praying that won't be happening in this instance, but I reckon it will. Smith's going to rotate around early. All right, Kenny, nice nade. But Amazing, MDK yeah. going in, smokes on both choke points, both spools and CT. As you say, Body's going to face this early. He'll go down on this. Happy's got shocks. There still is Scream in this position. RBK going to push the smoke, get taken down, and there has to be a refrag on this. There's not. Finally, Smiths will get NBK, but he and Scream. Might get an AK for their troubles. Are still going to have to hold on and try and save this because they're already pushing through CT on toward that B site. Good pick up from screen, headshot at that. But it's now just he that remains. That was a really nice bait and switch there from Envious. They smoke off all the key areas towards spools, towards spawn. Flashes go in. And the MBK in the form he's in right now, on this map especially, he's just so confident finding those frags. Finds two, it's enough to pull off the CTs from the A site. They plant on the outside of the map. And now just screen with the AK, can't find that final frag. And Envious get a step closer here. On the final map of the inaugural day, and bring it to 49. Keith coming in now with the AWP on towards Smiths, but Envious in touching distance now, they can taste it. They haven't had a big series win from them in quite a while. Absolutely. It would be. Pretty impressive. I mean, not to mention it is the, the French rivalry. G2 has been gaining ground on Envious and a lot of people saying that they were the best French team right now. Still yet to be proven on land. We'll see how it goes at Malmo, but Envious are definitely winning the grudge match at this point. 14-9. Quick boost going over toward the balcony side of A and it's Body again that wants to play toward the cart. A Quinn's-esque style for Body. We'll have to keep an eye on that as their form develops on this map up for now. Envious are not going to be focusing towards the B side of the map. It's just going to be MBK showing some presence out of the start, but falling back. It looks like it will be an A-sided attack here as they make their way towards apartments and towards middle as well. So potential quad execution coming here, but the problem is Smiths is waiting there and he's got the orb as well. The flashback does not get him at all. That's the first pick. Now they can fall back into crossfire position, but Smiths wants more. He does spot the barrel of devil there as well, hoping he will come for the reface, but it's looking like now we have got players coming in from the boiler room. Apex, as he dare face towards him, he actually does, but RPK has got Smith's back and gives them a huge advantage here. Five plays three. Able to fall away from that with RPK's help. So Happy tries to come back around, find one kill. Last man goes out, though. Smith's fires into it, but nothing there. It's all over toward B. 
if they have the ability to hold this scream and body once more or flash out perfectly timed in toward water and scream peaks on that but it does go down immediately after because happy not all the way around the corner is able to get the refrain stuck in the middle though as two players get inside the site envious might have a chance to plant this after all immediately toward doing so but smith catches happy slight gap in the smoke and devil he's going to get picked apart by rpk who held the angle post plant yeah back in the fourth round there but g2 managed to hold on they get those initial kills it's be Smith that found the first two. Really nice stuff from him towards the quad area. They kind of changed their setup and adapting a little bit more. Which are envious go for those faces and unable to actually make anything of it as they went towards Arch. And Smith's getting two. RPK finishing things off on the B side as well. Hit double figures now as well. Still enough money in the envious camp to buy up this one. They just want that one round. Release the pressure. Get themselves to series points here. And they've got five map points to work with to try and make that reality. We'll see what they can bring to the table this time. Still a nice healthy buy. Got some money left over as well. So yeah, there's around another 25. This time Smiths. This is what makes the top all. Change your position almost every round. And I'll be going towards the banana this time. Actually going for an aggressive face as well. He come. Ooh. Manages to leg MBK, but not enough to take him down. To take him through the pillar, but now oh, MBK it. will go. It's the Molotov that finished yeah. it off. So Smiths was aware that he made the contact. Gets the utility out, and it's worth it because they get one kill down early. Now RPK on truck side. Very likely to see some activity. That kill on Banana is going to encourage the push from Envious toward the A site. Shox is inside of it, holding on toward the balcony. And the early rotations come over as well. So it's Scream that's going to be here to support. Light smoke, quick flash over. No push through it just yet, though, from Envious. It's going to be truck side that gets evaluated first, but they want boiler control. As they still try and wait for that smoke to dissolve and scream again through the edge of it. He's going to find one with the M4A1S. Dropping the bomb briefly, but now it's the counter peak. RPK times it perfectly, but screams aware. Turns back at the shot, and it's going to be screaming again. Excuse me, catching devil. And Shox is going to hold on to pit, so the bomb's down. Happy last alive, and this is surely G2's round once more. Yeah, his mid-executes aren't really working out too well for Envious. The crossfire's coming in and working so well for G2 there. Once again, it's going to be Scream stepping up. It's three kills for him. And he hits 24 frags as well. He's had a fantastic Inferno campaign so far. I think they have broken the economy of Envious here. You can see Kenny S on 5K, Devil on 4, but the rest of the team can't really justify much. They could do a force by here with three AKs and two Tech 9s. I think considering where they are right now, we have got to pause match. We're going to sit down. It's only we're 30 good. seconds, Henry. I don't have to. You don't have to? I was told by the producer that I do not have to. Well. You can't make me. I am your daddy, so... Uh, that, that is false, and God forbid that ever be the truth. <laughs> As if things couldn't get any worse. Well, a 30-second pause will come in. I assume this is taken by Envious. Um, they've obviously got, had the options to buy here. They could, like I said, they could get three AKs and two Tech 9s. I would really recommend they don't do that. They've got enough rounds to play with here. Take this one on the chin, try and do some damage, maybe some Tech 9s, and just try and force a BXQ, get a bomb down. And then go into the next. Maybe pull out an orb, mix things up a little bit, and challenge Smiths and see what they can do. Sorry, excuse Bless me. Bless you. That was more of a That's hiccup. not even a sneeze. Yeah, well, what was that? It's because we just ate our food really quickly in, be in between that map, and I was uh, still trying to process it. But Yeah, this is, I mean, envious, like you say. Kenny S gave them such a huge opportunity, winning that one versus two. But now their money starts to dwindle away. Kenny and Devil are in okay positions here. Apex could force up around it, but it's Happy and MBK that are going to be a little bit tighter. If they force here, G2 win it. it. Puts us within one. Well then, G2 fighting all they can. They only qualified for this tournament yesterday against Gambit. That was a great game and showed us what they can do with this new lineup. Envious had a little bit more time to actually put together their new recruits, but it's been a difficult campaign so far. But I mean, to be fair, they've had an entire major with their new recruits. Exactly, and they all had two games that they had. As well, right? Yes, that was the first time yes. we saw Devil on land. Yeah. yeah, so they've had two events with Devil. G2 have had two evenings. So you would expect MBS to take this one, but they are pretty close now. Two rounds will do it. One more for the draw. But uh, looking like, I thought you said it was 30 seconds. I thought I said that too. I was listening to producer Reese. God damn you, Reese. Unpause any second, Henry. They're still telling me this. Do we trust producer Reese? I don't know. I've Wasn't he like brought back to life at one point? <laughs> what do you mean? Isn't he like the undead producer Reese? I don't know. Is he? I think Is so. Is that a storyline here? At uh, it? I don't know. Yeah, there's there's some weird stuff that goes so on. It's like a soap it. opera. They have little like uh, side plots. It is Sunday afternoon TV right now. That's for sure. Anyway, the pause has 
been released. We go into the next round. It's going to be a quasi buy from MBS. Let's get, get it to upgraded pistols here. Armor, PT50s, Tech 9s. We have got smoke grenades as well, so they could go for an execute here. They're waiting to see what aggression comes in, and there is quite a lot of it, I have to say, from G2. Three players pushing down banana, looking for these next bits of frags. They've had the time to pause as well. There it is. Scream gets the first kill on towards Happy. That's going to throw a cat among the pigeons, and now they can fall back after getting that first pick. Shocks will be deciding to stay down the bottom there. But we smoked out. So that will buy him some time here. It'd be absolutely crazy for the T to try and run through that. That's Scream. Yeah, Scream's going to support this. So even if they yeah. did, they would all stare in his direction, and Shocks would have time. It's body that's gone for the early rotation. Normally Scream that does so, so a slight change of the setup. As I mentioned, we haven't seen very many AWPs in this game, so. Big setup, Shocks might be caught in the open door. Scream has to face it, Scream has to face it, and does so successfully. Three kills for him, he goes down, but Shocks is able to close it. And if Scream didn't face there, Shocks was dead. Shocks had no way out of the pillar position after facing initially. Indeed, lovely round there from G2. Showing that aggression there, so obviously when you take a pause like that, it gives the other team as well a chance to actually recalibrate themselves and try and adjust to what they think you might be doing. So that time, G2 changed their setup, went three players towards the Bernard Array, found that first pick as well, and then Shocks hearing a lot of footsteps just decides to tell Scream to stay back here with Smiths. Look at this. He has got a decent spawn. We'll be facing straight towards T steps. And MBS have ball, but it's a very difficult buy. CZ and the Galil. This could be the chance for G2 to get right back into this one. Such an advantage in terms of the equipment. Scream, aggressive, of course, towards the top of Banana. Does sense MBK on the other side of that wall there, but will he be going for it? He actually wants it. There it is. Of course, he hits the shot. No problem at all. And now they can fall back. That's a sailor, though. Kenny S does find a shot on towards body. Kenny S does advance beyond this as well. As Envious. Gonna find the round. Pop flash through. Scream's gonna hold. He has to fall off spools in the process, so it's going to have to be an efficient play from him, looking for the rotation, and it's a little bit late, so this one kill from Apex is so huge, because now the bomb can go down a late smoke on CT, and Shocks gets funneled into construction, which is also blocked off. This is it now, the bomb is planted, 4-3 and three in favour of Envious. We take coming in, now our flashbang's available, but G2 has smoked out for now, Devil trying to readjust himself, gets himself into the pool, but can they actually do this? We need to work together and pin to the site. Shocks is going to actually just try and walk through slowly. He does have RPK holding his hand at this point, but Devil's found the kill. A crucial one, and Kenny's going to follow it up. Another peek, and the timing is everything because the nade was drawn, and Shocks can't even get a bullet fired in return. There it is. Envious find. Series point here. After MBK was the first player to drop at the hands of Scream, somehow they negate him and execute onto B and get a really strong plan down four on three and capitalize on the crossfires as well. Lovely stuff from Envious. As we go into potentially the last round, still with money, still a difficult situation for Envious. You can see four AKs and a Galil. It's body on for the AWP this time, not Smiths. So, he'll be going aggressive and seeing whether he can find the first big once again. They managed to get it last round. He will be more top down now, surely going to fall back. Takes quite a substantial amount of damage there. Body's going to hold this angle with the AWP. We've seen him play out toward the card aggressively with an M4. Dust 2, he picked up the AWP. Was successful with it, but we haven't seen it on Inferno. MBK has already made his way toward the tree as well, but with Body holding this angle, it's going to be a tough escape for him. And his head shows, Body sees it, fires, gives the chance for MBK in the re -peak. and what a headshot it was. Obliterates him through the board. And now it's the man advantage for Envious. Again, you said it, map point. We've gone the distance today. All three series have gone three maps, and this one hasn't yet finished. Is there's still a chance G2 can pull this back. Going for the early rotation, they're going to put two men over toward B. Keep up the arch side entirely. Well, there we go, then. RPK boosted up towards quad. It's a position we see him play time and time again, but it's looking like Envious will be favoring towards the B side of the map. It's just going to be one player there for now. And he's got some backup from Shock towards CD spawn, but Scream trying to hold on. That's his smoke use now. And then comes in. Smith. Envious is never scared to push through that. MBK jump shot makes it work. He's gone toward construction. The bomb to follow is going to go down at grill, but MBK doesn't look that way. He goes out toward Evo instead to find the post plant and gets tagged down, and it gives Shocks the kill on the Devil as well. And it's one HP for MBK. Kenny's gone, and it's two versus two. No kits. G2 have to act quickly, and NBK's got to be so careful at Emo. They know he's there. That call's had to have been made from Scream. No kits on the CTs, though. No utility. Need to be finding straight-up frags here. Crossfire has been set up. Apex ready. He has to do all the work here. He's got the HP. Apex is going to try and set this again. NBK so low, and it's easily picked up. G2, they're going to get the defuse. They've got so much time. And 15-13. Envious still with the lead, but... 
unable to close it out in this particular round and things start to get a little bit curious because now this builds up G2's money a little bit more. They did still have that round in hand, but it's still so, such a narrow margin. Whereas on Envious's side, it's fine. Yeah, they still have cash to work with. They said, we'll be buying up Kenneth on the Tech 9. It didn't seem like a problem before. Two rounds required now for G2. Can't afford to let anything slip up here. That came very close indeed. I have to say, Apex, all you need to do is survive another five seconds there. They weren't even on the bomb in that stage. He's holding such a wide angle. Probably could have just justified staying in for a little bit longer and making sure the bomb was a real big problem for them. Obviously, didn't know they didn't have kids there. The screen opens things up. Takes on Kenny S. This is a big play. Yeah. Devil nearly gets a second kill as well, but Scream holds on. It's not enough though to get out of mid because Happy pops back up and now Envious pull it back in despite losing men early. Bomb's got to be picked up at alt middle. They're going to go through the underpass to do it. Take no chances. Get over there as fast as possible. But they are being approached down mm. the apartment right now. Good push coming in from Smiths with the AWP. I like this play from GT though. Just going super aggressive even when so much is on the line right now. One round. He's going to separate them. That just shows the confidence that they've got right now. Screen picks up two. Oh. And this play from Smiths, it's perfect. Takes down Happy and gets the bomb as well. That should be the round tied up. Three versus one. MBK has been great on Inferno, but he's got one minute to play with it. It's still like it's a bridge too far this time. Shock's in a great position to lock him down. He can't get to Boiler Room now. And they know, again, bomb dropped. So called for Shock's his rotation early in MBK. Going to walk up toward me. And Shock's still holding that position. Does get the shot. Headshot with the M4. And it's now 15-14. And money gone on the envious side. A real chance. I hope fitting it's the two French teams. A real chance to go to overtime in our third map. And looking that way, absolutely, because you can see now, after two rounds in a row, envious now just have Tech Nines and PT50s and a CZ on MBK. They have got smokes and flashbangs, but this is G2's round to lose. We need to go down towards the bottom of the middle. All five players coming into the B rush, it seems. It's going to be body then by himself. He needs backup. Just drop an incendiary, but they're going to run through that. You know they are. Flashbangs come in. He definitely needs help now. It's Scream coming in from CD Spawn. Gets the first frag. Takes that MBK. Body needs to find the frag here as he rotates in. It's all looking good for G2. Overtime is looking like the promise. Apex gets one back into Scream, but it's now just Happy that remains. One versus three. He's picked up an M4. He's got armor. He's got full utilities, and he has the bomb. But he's got very little map control. Stuck inside construction. One more shot going his way. It's RPK. And they are divided. Flash to try and escape this. He's still being stared down by Smiths, who's going to fire into that with the AWP. A minute. He has to try and survive in this situation and claw his way back in. And they're going to smoke him off as well, either side, but not toward the new box. And that's going to funnel him out. That's the entire intention from this play. And Shox is ready for it. It's overtime. Well, there it is. It looked like Envious had a massive opportunity there to take out. I think it was, what, 15, 12, 15, 11 on one stage. So G2 really coming to life at the end there. It was big plays from Scream, big plays from Smiths. Just that ruthless aggression, like I said, even when they were up against series point there, not scared to face down. And that's what a lot of teams actually miss out on in general. They're actually scared when those big scenarios, like you, you think of the teams like Astralis and stuff like that, when they get those advantages and those leads, they go back to a very turtle sort of mentality. They don't actually go for those aggressive plays when they have the advantages there. It's quite cool to see a team not being scared at all and just pushing straight down. I yeah, I, I thought it was really good positioning from Smiths as well. I mean, he takes down Happy late with that bomb and breaks the economy, find ourselves in overtime. G2 took them a bit of a struggle to find their way into this half, actually. It looked yeah. like Envious, especially after Kenny, you mentioned it, took that round, that one versus two. Narrowed the economy. I thought that was the game, surely. It had to have been, but yeah. we find ourselves here, and what a good... Again, confidence is key. What a good comeback from G2. Taking fights and Scream stands out. Scream stands out tremendously in this matchup. He has the last two days. He seems like he's in some really, really solid form right now. So he was just leading the charge completely on Inferno. I think he finished on like, what, 28 frags, was it? You can probably see that from there. Uh, 33. Not bad. Is it 33 or 23? 33. 33. Not I bad at all. I can't see from here either. We've switched our monitors when we go to our cameras, so we can't look as far away. Yeah. Well, but it's 21 kills for Smiths, I can tell you that much, which isn't too bad, considering the AWP wasn't brought out as many times as we would have expected. So Yeah, he looked very good on the second half, actually. So CT working out very well there for G2. Envious, you've got to feel a little bit jaded after that one. After you get so many match points and series points in a row, like four of them, to throw it away in so many close circumstances, got to be a bit frustrating. But it's looking like we are getting back into this one. Uh, I assume it's uh, MR3 10K? MR3 10K. That's the way we started out, so... Three round swap sides, do it all again. They stay on the side that they finished regulation in, so Envious will be warmed up on this T side, but money will be in the hands of G2, which was a problem early in the half, not so much late. Well, then. It's an AWP for Smiths this time as a result of it, but he's not going to go for the aggressive peak toward mid because he doesn't have the best spawn. He's got to sit, wait, and figure out exactly what the terrorists are up to. 
It's been G2 that have looked phenomenal on the CT half so to, in the latter half of it, latter stages of it. So we'll see what they can do here as we go into overtime. Things have been reset though. It's interesting though, envious of all the cash, they're not really taking them at all themselves. To be fair though, Kenny has been great with those AKs. And Sharks is gonna be holding from balcony. Has a player down below in the form of RPK, so they can work this together. Flash on the Sharks, has to hug the wall. No way out of it, but Sharks and RPK combined, and he does stay alive long enough to make the kills. Devil might get one in return, but he needs to find another. It's Apex instead that does, and it's RPK down. You thought, surely, two kills on the entry. Pit side hell, this has to be the round for G2. Yeah. But the bomb now gets planted, and Envious making a real case to pull this back in their favor. A Molotov behind the smoke, so even if they want to push through, they'll take damage for doing so. And it's just screaming body remaining. They'll be boosting up behind that smoke, seeing if they can find a kill towards the pit here. Not really working out for them so far. You can see they haven't got vision on that whatsoever. I think that smoke, the fact it's bloomed on top of Molotov, that's actually gone up a little bit of a scream. Let's take down one. It comes down to the two versus one situation, but it's not going to be enough. Devil gets the final kill, and Envious take the first round here in overtime. And that's actually the first in a while on the T side. So even those shocks, like you said, you got those first two flags in the apartments, you thought that's it, that's the round tied up. How can they possibly bounce back from that? But kills just came out of nowhere, three of them. And it brought us into the three versus two, and G2 just couldn't retake really that. Like I said, that was really weird. Did you see the way the smoke was like raised in the air there? I yeah. think it would it landed on top of Molotov. We saw if that you were in too. pit for that, you could have so much vision toward yeah. that I think, position. I think we saw that in Dust yesterday. The smoke does bug out on top of the smoke. It yep. kind of just rests in the air. And they were trying to boost over it, but that was just the worst situation for them. There we go then. RPK back to the quad area. We talked about this a lot. He goes to go, what do we call that? Is that the sill? Window sill? Sure. That yeah. works. Atrium and sill. Yeah. Really There's sure the texture you can stand on. You can jump up there yourself. It's a little bit harder to do from the balcony, but... RPK is going to hold with Smith. So as soon as he fires, RPK has got coverage on to Boiler. But if they wrap around to chase the AWP, he's in a good position. Very commonly overlooked. They have got into Boiler. Devil's going to start to look down that stairwell. Kenny's still waiting out toward mid. But more importantly, it was Happy that's cleared out all other angles. And they're going to fall off of this despite clearing it. Well, they're going to be holding on more of a standard play this time at MBK. He's so strong towards the banana area. Once again, looking like he'll be just showing his hand there. And he's keeping two CTs up and now. And actually, will be rotating his team over as well. That's the CT smoke dissipating now. I'm sure they have one more. It's going to be Scream. He actually hasn't got one. And Body as well. He's got his in hand. So there it is. Flashman comes. And we've seen this last time. It's only again. It can be so strong. It's going to be Scream. Go for the fake. Can't land a shot just yet. But that's done a substantial damage. Body now waiting for the frags to come in. Bomb dropped. And Scream to pick up the first kill. That May looks to do more as he peeks back out from spools, but Body's still at new box. They haven't solved this riddle yet. And as he times it, it is shocks that from behind is able to get that kill. He's followed it up. And Body stays alive in all of this, so it's just happy once more. Lurking, of course. By himself. Late in the round, everyone dead. <laughs> to be fair, like if it don't, don't even die now or don't go. Okay. Just, uh, that, okay, that's one way to die, sure. What's that? I don't know. That's the kind of stuff that Envious is I guess, like. I guess but actually that kind of makes sense. I guess, well, if you look at it one way, he doesn't want to die after the bomb. He's already got a full set of equipment. It doesn't really make sense at all. Actually. Yeah, just stay alive. There's yeah. no need to do that. I guess it's, it's the final round anyway, next round. I mean, so. that, that's one of those ones that makes yeah. you wonder in comms where they're like, Happy, what the hell are you doing? Why are you alive again way by yourself? And then he's like, oh, all right. No, it was, it's the final round of this half anyway, right? So he still had cash. I guess he's like, well, yeah, whatever. Might as well. Yeah. It's just so peculiar because it, I mean, it just kind of echoes some of the sentiment that we've been kind of reading into the problems on Envious. But Kenny's going to start this round off so well. Smiths goes down. Flash back over rather an aid, but body that wants the aggression. He's got to fall away from this, though, because they want to try and get Scream in these rotation positions, more so now that they've lost a man on that A site. And body can't afford to be caught out for it. Well, that is currently 1-1 one, one here. G2 get the first frag. That works. That does work effectively. They get the bomb dropped and Kenny has to go down. So there's a five and four. They are going to be repositioning themselves now as well. But it's actually Envious going in for the banana split. Going through CT spawn here. Could be more topping off towards library as well. So these frags would be very important here. Apex coming in. And there's actually two CTs waiting in construction for them. It's going to be Scream, though, that has good positioning on this rotation. Apex gone already. Not expecting him to be there. But Devil, he comes back. He actually lines them up. Through Scream, he takes down Body in that position. And just like that, they're both dropped in the B site, but they don't know it yet because the bomb is preoccupied. NBK's got a fight with RPK. And Happy's gonna hold it though. That's two rounds for Envious to the one of G2 in the first half of overtime. And they'll swap sides, do it again, but Envy Envious just need two more. It's been a really long series here, but it's looking like Envious have got the upper hand as we go into the CT half of them. Two plays one. 
It's going to need one round for MVS to draw things up or two to take the victory here. And Devil on 30 kills, so he's definitely answered the Dust 2 game where Body heavily outfragged him. And obviously there's a scope on both those players and their performance on the respective teams now. Both so a good answer. They're both coming from the same team, if you're unaware. And uh, recent shuffles in the French lineups. It's LDLC here taking the brunt of it. And uh, I'm sure they'll be rebuilding soon. I'll be interested to see where they go with that. But anyway. Yeah, it's an organization. I mean, if you look, technically speaking, Envious, the Envious lineup has two major titles. Not this exact one. Obviously, there's been yeah. changes. But LDLC is actually one of the brand names that's considered yeah. the winner. So they'll want to stick around in Counter-Strike. 17 by 16 now. We go and switch half. Kenny S on the AWP. It's looking like G2 want to go aggressively toward the top of Banana. Happy does spot them and hear some footstep through. Does some decent damage on towards Smiths as well, but let's see how they go with this one. This could be the full B execute. Five players from G2 all toward this side of the map. They can't really justify falling back down. They have no map control anywhere else. The CTs could be anywhere at this point. So they kind of do need to commit to this stage. You can see one player basically falling back towards second mid. I think that shocks. He is like the, the happy to G2 in many years different occasions he'll be by himself listening out for footsteps just flushing out the map there making sure no cities have pushed and they will be falling back here so back towards middle so now we have got the cities in a very passive hold as well they should have been able to get full mid control uncontested and we'll see what they decide to do with it uh, show over step back to control it's distance and it's apex with one but Although he drops the ball and RPK gets the refrag, good push from Envious though, because Devil and Kenny immediately show face on the opposite side, and it's a crossfire that's set. Money and Shocks pull it back, it's two versus two. Long division here in terms of location for this retake, because it's going to be a flank from Banana. They have to cross over that as well, because they need to get the bomb. And Body considers it perfectly placed, shot takes down NBK, and A site open for business. Just down to Happy now, getting smoked out for now. Bombs should be able to plant it in the standard position. Flashbangs all over the place, and Happy does push through. He's able plant it, but shocks. This in a great position, this cover his teammate there. They pick up the first terrorist round here. What a pullback from four versus two. Absolutely. Really impressive stuff there. After I had five players committed towards B as well, that's not surprising. They fell back from that position. Traditionally speaking, once you have all five players committed outside of the map, you have no idea what's actually happening. You could have had aggression from the CTs. They could have pushed up in apartments. It's a risky play, but it pulls off. Well, works out for G2. At the end of round number two, they need one more here just to draw things up. They need the clean sweep to actually take the game. That's Smiths that's going to start the approach toward the apartments this time with his AWP. Just to note as well, anyone wondering why they haven't got head armor on the CT side, the money can be an issue on the CT over time. So you only get 10k or three rounds. If you lose the first one, like they did, could be an issue, but here we go then. G2 working their way towards apartments. Devil spotted, got his work cut out for him now. He caught out in the open and can't take down two players facing, so Body gets the kill. But it's Apex and Kenny to respond. Scream gets in though, and it's RPK to take down Apex. And now it's a man advantage again. So G2, it was two rounds lost when they were on the CT. It's two rounds about to be gained, equaling that which Envious got. And it'll put them on the first map point. The series point. Yeah. As Happy and NBK still off of this, and Happy's going to try and walk around from the top of it. He'll spot it out by Shocks. Doesn't need to reface this. 50 HP falls back. Buying time for his team. Good that work. bomb has been planted, and he lets him go by. Smartly, Happy wraps him behind him, though. And it's the USP to get the shot, but it's NBK still that has to find a way towards Scream at the pit. And Happy just coming back down the stairs is late to the party. RPK, he's going to be waiting for it underneath the atrium. Shot, success, and NBK one versus two. 13 and 6 HP. It's a bullet either direction, but he has to find them first. That's the hard part. NBK gets one, but the Molotov on the bomb. RPK with the timing, the flash out. He's going to hold this, though. Where's the peak? RPK needs to go with 6 HP, and NBK He's not got enough it. time. No. Oh, that's so close, but it just barely goes the way of G2. That's ridiculous. One second, could have had it. MBK playing his heart out there, doing everything he could. The bomb was had a Molotov on it as well. He didn't think he had any footing in there, did everything he could, defused the bomb, went for the flashbang, waited for RPK to face, took him down. Just didn't have quite enough time there. And it's going to be 2-0 in favor of G2. They have tied things up. One more round will do it. If MBS can find this last one, they will be taking it to a second overtime. But look at the buy. This is why they weren't buying the head armors. CZs, 5-7s, and a Mag-7. And just one M4 in the hands of Happy. G2 looking to break the hearts of MBS here after such a strong seri series from them and looking so solid and hopefully 
taking a big scalp here for the first time in a long time, but D2 definitely in the driving seat. And, and we do talk about online versus LAN, and absolutely that's true. Even in this case, I will say it is. This is what it means to defend the two best French teams right now. Well, that's what I was going to say, and the, the adrenaline's going to be pumping. These guys want this. I mean, you can definitely know Shox is right now against his former team. Yep. Where there was animosity, he's going to be absolutely pumped every round that they pick up. Yeah, they both crashed out the major, both have lineup changes, looking to prove themselves as the best French team. Here we go then. Final round of the second half of overtime. And a potential double overtime if Envious can pick up the win. CT side set up straight forward. Crossfire over on the B side, three players on A. Bomb not committed, but body has made it in behind the cart. 46 seconds, they'll deploy one more smoke that'll sit for 15. It'll be 30 if they go without flashing, but it is flashes. Body in, tag down low, and Happy gets the kill late. It has to be reconsidered if they even go that position now, having lost the first man, and already they've elected to go to the A site instead, and it's Devil in the pit, dropped already. Has the shotgun, nearly goes for the kill, but it's Kenny now into the site. CZ75 has to reload it. It's such a long draw speed, it's such a long reload time, and Scream's gonna make him pay for it. But still, it's a three versus three. A decent pickup, NBK at top of middle despite Bomb going down. It's two players limited inside of the pit. And despite that they just threw out their last Molotov, it's only a flash they have remaining. So Smokes aren't going to buy them space. Smith misses a shot, NBK gets closer. And it's going to give them so much ground with that Molotov to force Smith in the open. He's definitely dead at this point. Missing that shot, he has to go down. Oh my god, they've actually done it. Who would have thought with the pistols and the shotguns somehow we're going to double overtime. And you could see GT look very panicked there in that scenario. Didn't want, they didn't have to force that, that fast when they're going in one by one towards Banana and giving that first kill away. Seemed like they just heard the CZ and just assumed that's all they'd be waiting for them. Happy gets the first frag, funnels them back towards the A bomb site. It was just a little bit of a blunder there. Actually, three players for them just surviving that scenario. And you can see Smiths with the AWP towards the end there. Just need to hit one of those shots. Just one of them would have survived and they could have had something to work with there. But just looking a bit panicked. And it's going to be double overtime here on the final map. Nine maps, nine hours. Why not? We got this, baby. I, I mean, look, overtime between these two, This, like we said, this is the grudge match. You know they're going to be isolated in the rooms or at the Envious Gaming House, wherever they may be. They're, ne they're never at the Gaming House. That's absolutely true. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> they will never be at that house. I feel like they might kill each other if they all stayed in that house for more yeah. than a week together. But they, they're definitely going to be gunning to win. I mean, this is this is full land. Like, this is where you would you would see those camera shots of the high fives given in a game like this, but they can high five their That's teddy bears. That's a crazy round to actually win. That right? is actually ridiculous. It's I mean, two, two players zero. locked in pit. They lock them down in the gun rounds when they've got full buys and orbs and all this stuff, and then they come in with one Mac 7, one M4, and three pistols, and somehow G2 start panicking so much they're actually not working and together. And it shows you what lack of utility in a post plan can do, because yeah. they had absolutely nothing they could do. Once that first Molotov was gone over at Library, Three players push on pit. They miss the first shot. Smith's already limited with his movement. Done. I mean, there's nothing they can do to hold them off. We're back into it, though. No messing around here, Matt. It's going to be all reset. Double overtime. And we can see a double orb set up here for uh, Envious here. So they're trying to throw a spanner into the works, perhaps. Change things up already as Smith's, though, is going to get quickly up toward middle. Flash out. Goes for the face. No one there. The three offs after not seeing much in regulation in one round. Well, there's a different setup completely here. You can see two players going aggressive towards the apartments as well. They've left, I think, I assume it's MBK towards the other side of the map. Yeah, so he'll be by himself, and this is going to be challenging as well. Good angle, I actually like this behind the bush. It works out very effectively. It's hard to spot him. Gets the first kill, almost gets the second as well, but you'd assume that's going to open the floodgates now for G2. Scream's already pushed back through this smoke, though. And G2 are going to take over the site, regardless of that first kill going against them. And it is a tough site to retake, even with numbers. They'll send one player at least down toward Banana. It looks like they'll send a second in the form of Happy as well. Who this time is closer with his teammates on this retake. MBK forced off of this position in construction, though, by a single flash. That lets Shocks push up inside the garden. They're going to know he's here. A Molotov out. Has to jump across this. No shot in. He's still taking damage, though, down to 45. And they've approached on Banana. They're already at the mouth of the site. And Shock's flashed off. Needs to spray in. Manages one. Smith gets another, but it's all going to be in. Kenny S and a Apex immediately after in the site. This retake was perfect. Lovely stuff there. It was MBK that opened things up with that initial kill. They took the risk of actually having him by himself towards that site. He gets the kill, falls back, waits for his teammates to come in. And Shocks did what he could. That blind spray could have been glorious. He could have found all three. Wasn't meant to be. Envious with the retake. Kenny S getting that final kill. And we're going to be seeing a 1-0 in favor of Envious. The dream is not dead yet, boys. 1-0. G2 now coming in with five AKs. I assume the double orb's been dropped for Envious. That's a very unorthodox setup on Inferno. And it will be negated now as MPK gets back to an M4. So it worked for one round. 
That's enough. And every time is what we needed. Yep. And the golden ticket in this round, or in this overtime, excuse me, is 22 for a win, 21 for double OT. MBK, sat by Spool, is going to throw out a little more utility toward the top of Banana. Pretty straightforward default right now from G2, but now they're starting to group five players. So this is the same as what you said when they ran back and got aggressive on that call and regulation where they didn't have the information over toward apartments. They've all five committed, but they are going to go push through. Body flash goes in. MDK not blinded up, able to hit the shot. It's Happy that finds two immediately after. He's dropped inside the fountain, but MDK has concealed himself behind the smoke, and although it gives up the sight, it still favors them doubly so. Four versus two in the post plant. Here we go then. Scream and Smiths with the bomb down. Can they hold off the onslaught? Another retake coming in. Heavily favors towards Envious. They need to hold on. Decent positions, see what they can do with this. Kenny holding back in behind the new box position as Apex tries to lurk his way through, and Kenny's killed Devil. This doesn't help. It's going to be now a two versus two, despite that they're low on HP. It's a numbered situation that's favorable. And MBK gets one kill. Kenny finds the other. Thankfully, oh. makes up for his mistake. I thought if that round was going to go in GT's favor, down to that team kill. He saw the smokes coming down as well. It looked like it was going to be really confusing. That would have been absolutely crazy. But MBS make it a 2 0, and it's going to be down to Happy and MBK working together so effectively there. It looked like G2 went for the very simple surprise tactic. They're trying to just go in and do something unorthodox, push in through the smoke, flashbangs come in, and trying to hope that Scream picks up a couple of kills on that entrance there, but it's happy that sprays on two of them and puts them in a huge disadvantage, four and two, which did come down a lot closer than I expected, but it doesn't really matter at this stage. There's still gonna be plenty of money for MBS regardless of how many kills they dropped. It's all about getting the rounds at this, process, at this, at this point of the game. Need out. Tiny amount of damage done to Smiths, but first time in overtime, either of them that the CT side has picked up two rounds. In the first, it was all T. Kenny got up from A side, throw out a smoke to help his teammates over, his single teammate over on B. As he's rotated early. And the man advantage could be enough for them to sweep the half. Then BK has utility left, but it's RPK that actually gets one back. Scream's gonna follow that up. So they've managed to find an opening at the top of middle. Problem is, though, bombs over at B. Body's already been dropped by MBK, and they need to be so careful right now. Smiths, if he gets caught out right now, this could be the end of the round on that alone. Well, MBK does find the kill onto Apex, but it's answered back straight away. Happy takes him down. Two versus two now. Bomb making its way into the B site. It's going to be MBK playing very defensively here. Just wants to make sure he listens out for the footsteps, calls out for his teammate, doesn't want to die without a frag being exchanged. MBK going to hold the off angle as well. Faced, though, by Scream. Another big kill, another big pickup for him who continues to have an excellent game. I wouldn't be surprised at this point if he's into the 40s. We'll look at the end of this round, but Happy is sitting in a 1v2, needs to claw his way into this, has a full set of utility, has a kid as well. I would throw that Molotov toward Emo immediately because it is a crossfire from that position. Smiths is going to find him. And I like that the body floats a little bit, but it is going to be 2-1 split as we head over to the second half of the second overtime. And there it is, 42 kills for Scream. Yeah, very impressive stuff from him, actually. So... He finds him that kill, is that big frag he got towards the end of that round that keeps him alive here. 3 0 just wouldn't be good enough as we go into the second half of the second overtime here. These teams, nothing separating them here on Inferno. It's Devil actually top fragging. Well, actually, he's top of the scoreboard, he's happy with the most frags. He really has come to life happy in the Doesn't last round. Doesn't count when Happy kills one, one VX situation lurking, right? Ooh. Just kidding. Ooh. But I mean, Devil has had a great game. We can't understate that. Again, it's Kenny that's quiet, though. He is, actually. Hasn't, he had a very quiet C half in the regulation time. Apart from those clutches he got, apart from, obviously. So G2 need to answer it and find at least two rounds on their CT side. Indeed. And they just need to, just to win. We'll see what they can do here. We'll have a look at the buys. No orbs once again on the T side. Smiths with the orb on the CT. No double orbs here. You can see Body just throwing an incendiary to off to stop the rush. As they do aim for banana control once again. And we've seen it time and time before. MDK working this area by himself. Fluffs the flash a little bit there, but not going to be a huge deal on Scream and Body looking to go aggressive here. Body has been punished in this position a few times. Does he dare face again? MDK waiting in behind the pillars. Flash over, that actually catches body, but he's able to transition back to the site in time. That just slows the pace a little. Two players back toward pit. 4G2. RPK again. 
And I just hold in that position as Smith's smoked off, goes for a shot through it. I found that a de desired target at this point in time, though, and Devil's going to get more aggressive, looking to potentially flash through this smoke. He's just going to hold, let it dissolve, and RPK, he's going to take the fight. This could be timed well. Kenny's looking the right way, but he doesn't have the shot fired back, and RPK gets two. It's Apex with the response, but that allows low scream up the other side. Perfect timing and a one-two punch from G2. Happy looks out late, but might just be too late indeed. Even though he picks up two kills, Scream will close it, shut it down, and we're back, not enough on 20. Absolutely, G2. Working together there very effectively. It's RBK and Scream continuing their strong form. They're screaming high. It's 45 frags. As we go into round number five, as we said, 20 plays 20. And if feed back on towards Smith's. Shocks with a decent spawn as well. We've seen him challenge towards the second middle before. Let's see whether he decides to play any moves like that once again. We'll just be smoking up towards Banana. No aggression this time. Once again, MBS with the five AK. We'll see what kind of play. It's very default almost every single round for them. Trying to gain Banana control. And See if they can challenge the players here. The Scream and Body, they've been holding strong. Especially Scream, changing his position up and rotating between his mates in middle. Scream's going to wait to bait this out. Body playing in behind the sandbags this time. Normally he, that's been the only one that's aggressive in this situation, but Scream is going to rotate off it early. It's a little bit too soon, though. Body falls back to the site just as the utilities are deployed. And although Smiths goes one for one on the other side with Apex, who's rotating through spawn, Scream... Can't comfortably get a read on this. Now, the call has been made, having lost Smiths in that position. So, Scream's trying to wait for this, trying to catch them off. I'm not sure he did on that jump. I don't think so. I think Smiths, or excuse me, Scream was just far enough forward not to be seen. Oh, no. oh that's easy enough. Needs to hit the shot, though, but he's in the open. Thankfully, does late. But that takes down the man that was on the wrap. Bomb's already committed as well, and it's a good chance for G2, but they've lost Scream and Body. 16 HP only. They know exactly where he is, and NBK just holds the angle. Just a matter of time before MBK found those kills on the banana side. So effective at them. Bob gets planted as well. Two players remaining now. Shocks and RPK both coming from the banana area. And we can see there's so much information gained from the player in CT spawn. He'll be telling his teammates, you know what, just keep your eyes towards banana. Smoke him out, flash him out, do what you have to do. Just don't give him anything to work with there. Shock gets around the corner fast, quickly. Happy gets the kill, though, because he's holding it, ready for the angle, and Happy's got another. It's 21 now for Envious. Map point again in double overtime. And G2. Ropey buy going to come in for Scream. They could drop it over from Body, electing to go away from the AWP. Shock's already limited, limited to the FAMAS as well. And that's the call. They are going to stick with the five rifles. Triple overtime, Matt? Why not, Henry? What do you think? I think it's very likely. I think you're absolutely right. See what G2 can do to claw on here. One more required from MBS. 22 is a magic number. 21 21 will mean triple overtime. Body has Molotovs deployed in front. They try and clear out sandbags. Didn't quite go far enough, though. Either way, he's not playing that position. He's out toward the cart instead. Nade in behind the yellow cart. Body's just waiting for him to try and push through as I break the studio. Not again. Good positioning from RPK, though. They're going to shuffle back in toward the site. Shocks gives up that double position that they have been trying to play at pit and goes over instead to support Smiths. Late smoke from Shocks out toward B. Try and buy them some more space, but the bomb's not committed. It's just getting to the top of alt mid right now. A minute still on the clock to play with. Getting very tense here now. Time ticking away. We hit the one minute mark. MBS yet to make that move. I've got the same sort of default rolling here. G2 is more difficult by this time. They warp on towards Smith, so we haven't got a Famous as well. They're looking like they're favoring towards B once again. That's where the bomb is right now. I'm still waiting in that corner as well, just trying to bait them in. But it's such a tough position to find himself in. His body has to come up large. He's flashed off of this, goes to the reface. No secondary flashes. It's all a fake. They're running back toward A instead. And this is where the double play has to work out. Shocks, he's not really in prime position. He's never able to get back up on top of the balcony. So immediately, a great shot from Apex taking down RPK, but so much pressure onto Shocks. And Kenny finds that kill. Bomb goes down, two versus four on the retake. There's a kit in Scream's hands. But it's gonna have to be absolutely perfect on the retake. And it's Kenny that finds the first kill on the body. It's down now just to Scream, G2. Comes so close, but unfortunately for them, the best of three goes the way of Envy, who join Astralis and Virtus Pro in the winner column. Long game, I have to say. Of course, we go late into this, but 2-1 in the end, double OT.
Except they don't join Virtus. You're Pro. right, Virtus Pro lost. I'm sorry. It's been a long day for Listen, dude, okay. nine hours, nine maps, whatever. And nine maps. Five trips nine to the maps. bathroom as well. <laughs> yeah, only three. Double overtime, of course. But uh, what a great game that was. Back and forth all the way. Couldn't really separate anything between those teams. It came down to the big clutches in the end. Both showing some strong form in the overtime. It's just envious there. Somehow clinching it in the big situations. And it's good to see them finally winning some big games here. But uh, you have to feel bad for G2 all the same. A long series. And it's always disappointing to drop out in those scenarios. Devil playing extremely well. Yeah, especially at the beginning of the game uh, from that uh, pit area. Although I do question that that one decision from G2. They were in a 4v2 at one for, for a short period of time. Yeah. And they, was, they still went for A. They knew that one guy was B, one, uh, one guy was A. They could have probably guessed that he's going to be in pit. So that's like the longest oh, remember, range. Yeah. That's the, the worst uh, fight you can over. take. And Devil played it extremely well. Got uh, a bunch of kills and secured the route for his team. I think it was pretty obvious that uh, you know, both teams were reading into each other, especially G2 on their T side. You could see how they were, how they knew basically how MVS plays their CT side, throwing smokes towards the car position, then leaving MBK alone on B yeah. most of the time. You could see that they were pushing through those smokes with uh, flashes, Molotovs and everything, <laughs> even getting a team kill with the Molotov. And sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. But in the end, they had a great first half considering they lost pistol. They got... Uh, seven rounds on the T side, which was pretty impressive, and managed to claw their way back in the second half. One player that was really impressive as well was MBK, actually showing some really strong form on the yeah. T side especially. Like, he actually finding multiple times both the frags that he's entering the bomb side there, and sometimes, actually, when they're showing f pure aggression, he's finding both headshots as they're making his way in there. It's been a long time since we've seen him do that. That's uh, kind of like when they won the major in Cluj. That's when, that's the kind of form he was in at that stage, looking like he was so dynamic and so confident going there by himself. When he was actually rolling like that, it's just a beauty to watch the way he approaches that situation. G2's side of the coin, though. Body, not as hard on this map. Wasn't necessarily like behind any, but Scream. Confidence is key, and going into Malmo, yeah. he's looking extremely solid. The fact as well, when they were like, they were 15, 13 down, I think it was, maybe 15, 14, and they needed like this round to take them over to overtime. They've got the advantage in terms of the weaponry, like they knew they had the economic advantage, but he's still pushing down middle by himself. That's such a high risk maneuver. And I think that's a, the point I was making before is, that's how you win games. That's how you get it into overtime. That's how you take big rounds. As soon as you turtle up and you're, you're kind of scared to show that aggression and that kind of tenacity, that's when you start throwing games. And that's how we see teams like Astralis. They kind like of, when, they, when they start getting these advantages, they start saying, oh, what if we lose though? Imagine we've lost. We have to stick back and stay in this real tight formation. It's not giving anything away. And that's when you can actually almost throw the games. You give them too much room to work with. I think a good way to put it is that the teams play not to lose instead yeah. of playing to win exactly yeah. and that's when you know uh, your opponents exploit that they yep. find gaps and they just uh, take over the game from you basically i mean this this game in the end i mean it's pretty obvious to me that it was decided by the clutch rounds in, yeah, in sure. the end those retakes towards the b bomb site i'm not sure how envious managed to do it like they give control of the b bomb site mbk the first round where he had the op in the second overtime, gets yeah. a kill, and even though you're in a 5v4, you have no control of the bomb site. I th in my opinion, that's ex an extremely hard retake to to do, but they managed to pull it off two times, two rounds in a row. I guess it's one of those things where he was left there by himself, right? Had he had challenged that and got taken down, that's even worse situation. But the fact he was there by himself, he'd done his job on one frag. I guess that's what they're really going for. He's not obviously the, the main off on the team. He's, yeah. got, he's got one kill and he's just trying to reposition yeah. himself and wait for the guys to rotate in. But it was interesting to see them like, that they're being dynamic. Lisa saying, well, let's, we haven't done this yet. Let's do a double orb setup on the CT side. And obviously MBK gets that first frag. In my opinion, that's all he really has to do. That was quite cool to see them mixing it up. Yeah, and mixing it up. And yeah, I also like to see the, the body just picking up the AWP a few times mm. for G2. It gives them another dynamic that they haven't necessarily had on that team. Uh, especially with Smiths, because a lot of people say Smiths, of all the sort of the top, you know, teams, top organizations, is one of the weaker AWP players. And so. you saw it in that one round, again, in overtime, yeah, absolutely in, right, yeah. in that uh, after client situation, missing a couple of yeah. easy shots. I mean, easy. It was, it was for them to actually win the game, I think. It was yeah, when, it was yeah, when um, was Envious has had pistols, and they had two yep. players in the pit. It was two on three. He just had to hit one of those shots just to make the round. Like, just one kill would have done it. Yeah. And he just could have. He's just seen panicking and kind of flicking his aim all over the place, jumping around. And that was a big round for them to lose, and that could have been the one that actually won them the game. So that's the kind of thing that like separates the top orbers in that scenario. Like someone who can consistently play under high pressure and hit the, the easy shots when it really counts, not just the really crazy flick shots all the time. Yeah, and, and perfect example of anyone who wants someone else to look at in that sense. We always talk about world edit, same thing. He hits mm. these crazy shots, and then the easy ones, high pressure, doesn't necessarily land them, and it costs them rounds. That's it, guys. That concludes day one, season one for the European side. It's three straight, uh, best of threes, all three going the distance, and the wins go the way of Dignitas, yeah. as well as not only that,
obviously envious in this one and astralis in the yeah. in the first one and all, interestingly enough the the first one as well it was uh mouse sports that took a took a victory to start off that series against astralis so they had to come back in that as well so Interesting game today, nonetheless. We do uh, head into Malmo for most of the European teams. We do still have North American division coming up a little bit later this evening with DDK and James. I heard them say something in my ear, but I didn't hear what. Just under three hours. So three okay. matches there as well. And uh, stick around for that and get ready for this week. It's going to be another big week of Counter-Strike. We uh, thank you so much for joining us in the Esports Championship Series. We can't wait to have you again. $3.5 million on the line. Three teams today put their best foot forward. We'll see you then.